All right, in this video, I'm going to be covering prop performance for a very specific combination, which is a classic uh, Boston Whaler Montauk 17 and a Yamaha F70 engine. Now, if you saw last week's video or the last video I put up, um, it was all about putting this prop on, which is a Powertech. And the reason I did that is because the original prop that I had on this was not giving me the performance. Um, now, that's not good on this engine. This engine is rated at 6,300 RPM. So the prop that was on here uh, was basically lug lugging the engine down. And it was one of these. It was a Solus um, 13 and a half by 15. So we put that on and we replaced it with a Powertech. Um, 13 and a quarter by 14 and the reason I went with that is that there is a specific Yamaha blade prop that is recommended for this combination um, I've seen it and read several things about it. continuous wave has a couple of write-ups on it and basically it's a performance series 3 blade prop in 14 and a quarter by 14 pitch now the power tech prop I put on there matches that as far as size and pitch but no two props are alike or manufacturers matter of fact it looks like there's a little bit more cup on the power tech prop uh, than the one I took off, but I can't compare it to the Yamaha, I don't have one. So anyway, let me go over some of the results that we saw, and I'll give you my overall impression of this Powertech prop on this combination. Now, on the first run that we took, we try to keep the conditions as close as possible. Uh, 10 gallons of fuel in the tank, there was about 250 pounds of people, me and my son were on this boat uh, doing, the, uh, doing the testing. However, conditions were a little rough it was windy and a little bit choppy here's a sample of what it looked like uh, on the day and this was an intro that I filmed on the boat but I'm not going to do the whole thing because quite frankly it was kind of difficult to talk over the wind all right so if you saw the last video I put out we put a new prop on this boat um, I'll show you some pictures of the old prop so anyway on this first run uh, we went into the wind and you can see the results are kind of impressive considering the original results we were getting with the uh, original prop. So basically going into the wind, we got about 5,900 RPM and 34.1-ish uh, uh, miles per hour, which is a, definitely an improvement. So what we ended up doing is we took the boat to the other side of the peninsula and ran it with the wind at our backs, which of course was a little bit of an advantage. So one thing I noticed on this prop, and we tried to film this as best we could, is that it has a lot of traction. It's like if you're not holding on to something and you go wide open throttle or even ease it up, it's gonna pull you back. It, it really has a lot of grip, so I'm very really impressed. And I think that's because of the uh, the cup on the, on this prop. I have the way of measuring that. So anyway, here's a shot of us going um, across the lake, wide open throttle with the winds at our back.
So as you can see, we got 6,000 RPM and 35.7 miles per hour. So it's quite a significant difference. That's very close to what people have reported with the Yamaha prop. The Yamaha prop, they've uh, reported 6,300 RPM um, and uh, 35 miles uh, an hour. So uh, as far as speed, I don't care that much for speed. I'm not going to operate the boat at wide open throttle, but I don't want to lug the engine down if at all possible. So I want to get the right prop for that. And I think this is the right prop. So what's my overall opinion? I think for the price, um, this prop runs probably about $200 less than the Yamaha prop. And if you're tight on budget, this is a really good alternative. Uh, will I eventually go to a Yamaha prop? Probably. And I'll probably do another video on it just to have a comparison when we do the, the three props. Um, the uh, Solus, the uh, Powertech, and the, uh, and the Yamaha. Anyway, I hope this video has been helpful to you. If it has, hit share and like. And don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching.